welcome back to another video. Turn your TV down so we don't hear, hear some kind of awful echo. We'll pretty much hear the sound repeat itself over. He sounds like he's having sex. Yeah, really giving it to, that, to this chick. This bunny chick. Dude, he went screw it. But, why am I talking like that? I was talking about screwing a bunny. Ready. I've, I've beat both of these kinds. I kind of feel like doing like old games. Uh, that's video was coming today. Oh, that's not keep cutting in and out. I'm gonna just check on my Twitch if it's actually showing the full thing. It'd be a shame if it didn't. Let's see if I can hear myself. Or if you hear an echo. But I'll see if you can hear me talk. Can you hear me? Good. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if everything works well. This is the one I wanted to see. I forgot how to hit. How to hit. Oh, now I got it. Whoa, what? That's what he hits with? Take some of that. So I'm just cutting in and out for me. Getting annoying. Stop and hit you first.
I'm dead. Oh, their videos. This is a real tough one. Oh crap. Stop that you dumb controller. Not that I'm You can throw a nice side. Uh
Okay. What the hell? this one. That is pretty tough, guys. drop this.
Let's go to these ones. Give this game a hit. Freaking Well, what the hell? Bullets again. It was kind of awkward. I 
is pretty tough. Steam for that. What's the point of this? There we go. Okay. 
guess that's the shoot it's gun. Pretty fun. Okay, I guess next part. Okay, how does that make sense? How does it make sense when you could just blow up when nothing hits you? So explain that one. See how you're supposed to blow up when you hit something when you're supposed to. Let's hit that dumb idiot. Game's too pathetic to play. Well, lucky there. Let's watch the clip. Watch this.
when people ask what makes a rare game or how you can recognise a rare game, I, I think you could do the cheap option, go, oh, it's a googly eye. Eyes on absolutely everything. Big googly eyes. Big googly eyes on everything. But it's... I don't think you can actually spot a rare game. I, I, that's, that's, a difficult, that's a hard one to answer because all the rare games are sort of different. We don't settle into a groove. We always are trying to find something new and exciting to, to create. And that's not just for the players, because we as developers like doing different things as well. It's, it's a two-way street, but it works, works really well. What makes a rare game? Um, innuendo, um, British humour. We very rarely did a game that was completely po-faced and straight laced. We've always tried to make it so that it's going to entertain. Because that's what we're in the business to do, entertain. And there's lots of ways to do that. But, you know, we like having a laugh and we like everybody else that plays our games to have a laugh. You've got to come in and have fun every day, right? If you come in and start wearing suits and, um, and uh, just acting a bit dry and just worrying about the numbers or worrying about this, then, then you're not going to create a fun experience. Everybody has fun. I don't think that you can make fun without having fun. And I think that that shows when you, when you play the games. Ultimately, I think that the core of what makes a rare game is the amount of love uh, and care and attention to detail that the people at Rare put into it. We're, we're, kind of, we're a company of perfectionists. I don't think I've ever seen anyone quite obsess about a, a small bush that, <laughs> as, a, as a big tall tree or as a main character that we do. Going that extra mile, it was, it was something that everybody picked up off Tim and Chris. Like they were like um, really convinced that Going the extra mile and, and, and putting things in games that players don't expect was, was what would make their title stand and everybody, everybody kind of took the lead from that. The Rare logo was one of the first logos that I actually even recognised like as a gamer when I was sort of 12, 13. Everyone remembers the feeling when that Rare logo just spins onto the screen. I remember feeling like if you saw that logo on the box and at the start of the game when that logo would come up, you knew no matter what game it was, it was going to be your next like favourite game. Everything would come together to create this sort of intangible magic that you can't really, can't really put your finger on. It's just, it is literally a rare quality. Nothing felt like a rare game. It was just special. I don't know why, it just was. That sounds awful, but you know what I mean? It's true though. Before I came here, I don't think I could have answered that question because every game Rare made had a, had a unique quality to it, had something magical about it, something an X factor, if you like. And now that I am here and I've been here a few years, I think what makes a Rare game is the people that work at Rare and the culture of this place. We've got so many people that live eat, sleep and breathe video games. They've all got the same view. They all want a great game. They all love it and they all want to play it. Even if it meant that you had to spend almost your entire life at, at work, it was that end result that you were trying to achieve. You know, you were trying to get, bring out the next rare game. I myself, I'm a bit of obsessive and put a lot of hours into this job. And I believe that, um, I think it shows in the product that um, if, if you love the project, project and you kind of are really passionate about it, you'll put a bit of your soul, your soul in, into, into it. And I think, and I think it, it, sometimes it sometimes comes at a cost, cost, but it's always a worthwhile cost. cost. I'm a firm believer that the, the games that come out of rare are a reflection of the people, people that work on them at the time. The they've all got this certain, certain something, something, but they've all got, got their own identity. identity. And, and, that, and that came from the team. The team has the, the ownership, ownership. Um, and the kind of the freedom to basically to do what they want and to make the game that they want to make. Whatever idea. Um, we're, we're like, yeah, let's try it out, let's throw it in the prototype, let's see if it works. You know, we don't want to be restrictive, we don't want to be telling them what they have to do, it has to be the team that's creating this game, right? And so, so the kind of the humour, the way they looked at life, the way they, 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 the way they basically did every, everything would, would be reflective in the games, but it was all being held together by this kind of shared, rare ethos of, if you're going to do a job, make sure you do it properly.
good. Peace, I have a coming down below. See you guys until the next video.